Hey guys, my name is Nick Valetsky with Utah State University Extension's Integrated Pest Management Program, and today we're going to talk about squash bugs. So, unlike what most people think, they're not beetles, but rather they're true bugs in the Hemiptera family. Identifying the squash bug is super important, as a lot of people confuse them with other species in the insect order Hemiptera. Adults are just about one inch long, their color is gray, brownish black, and they have these distinct brown stripes along the edges of their abdomen. They're able to fly short distances, but their wings fold over their flat back. The nymphs will complete their development over to four to six weeks. The first instars have red head, antenna, and legs with whitish to greenish gray bodies. Second to third instars have black appendages and greenish gray bodies. Fourth and fifth instars, the wing pads are small but undeveloped, but look, resemble more of the adult. Do not confuse squash bugs for other look-alike insects in Utah, such as various brown stink bugs, kissing bugs, or the western conifer seed bug. Adults and nymphs feed on leaves, vines, and fruits with their piercing, sucking mouth parts. Squash bugs suck sap from plants and can disrupt the flow of water and nutrients. This can cause the cucurbit plants to wilt. So squash bug eggs are laid in clusters, usually on the undersides of the leaves, but sometimes you can find them on the, the stems or the upper sides of the leaves. But basically they're these brown, orange, bronze colored, little tiny balls that you'll see. You can minimize populations of overwintering adults through sanitation. After harvest, till or remove the cucurbit crop debris, including fresh vines and fruit, remove wooden piles, plastic mulch, or other synthetic ground covers, and ground debris near fields where the insects may seek protection for the winter. Consider planting squash varieties that are more tolerant to squash bug feedings. Examples of highly susceptible crops include yellow squash, hubbard squash, and pumpkin. Rotate to non-cucurbit crops in alternating years to reduce the number of immigrating adult squash bugs. Crop rotation will be most effective in larger fields. Peak egg laying by adult squash bugs typically occurs in May in northern and in late April to early May in southern Utah. Seed or transplant before or after this time to reduce the potential injury. During the growing season, tra trap adults and nymphs seeking protection by using wooden boards, shingles, and, other, and heavy cardboard placed on the ground next to the host crop. Squash bugs will tend to aggregate under the traps at night. In the early morning, you can turn the boards over and destroy the bugs. Trap crops are cucurbit cultivars that are more attractive to adult squash bugs. Several weeks before planting the main cucurbit crop, plant the trap crop along the field borders or interspread as clumps throughout the field. Target squash bugs by applying a pesticide or destroying the trap crop before the eggs begin to hatch to reduce damage to the later maturing main crop. Studies have shown blue Hubbard squash is the most common trap crop used. This is an example of a parasitized squash bug. The most common natural enemy of squash bugs are parasitoids. These include a tachinid fly, Trichopoda penipses, whose larvae feed on older nymphs and adults. There are some pesticide options for home gardeners that are labeled for squash bug control. Organic options include those with active ingredients pyrethrins or pyrethrin sulfur mix. Synthetic options include zeta cypapermethrin or permethrins. To be effective, insecticide sprays must penetrate the plant canopy and thoroughly cover the top and undersides of leaves, fruits, and vines. Apply insecticides in the early morning or late evening when sprays will dry more slowly and result in better coverage of the vegetation. In the morning hours, leaf positions may be more upright and allow for better coverage of leaf undersides. Do not spray during the day when plants are blossoming to avoid harming pollinators. So one method is to pour water near the base of the plant so that'll scatter the squash bugs to start climbing up the plant. One of the most obvious and easiest ways of squash bug control is just simply mechanical, mechanically destroying them. So I like to use a bucket of soapy water and then I'll mix it. And then when I see them on my plant, I simply just grab them and then I'll throw them in the water 
and that'll kill them off. So when you're looking at your plants, you wanna look underneath the leaves for those egg masses that we talked about. When you see them, you can simply just remove them or you can crush them with your fingers and that'll kill the eggs. So another method is to take a roll of tape, wrap it around your fingers, and then when you find the eggs, just simply place it on and then pull the eggs off. Just like that. Another option is to use Vaseline or petroleum jelly, and you can just simply rub that onto the eggs and coat them, and that'll prevent them from hatching. If you guys have any more questions about squash bug management, you can feel free to reach out to our integrated pest management program or stop by your local USU Extension County office and pick up our squash bug integrated pest management card. This covers all the information I talked about. And you can also visit our squash bug research page at extension.usu.edu slash pest.